because I feel like the hair holds a lot of energy. Um, and when I was a little girl, my mom always used to say, you know, after you've taken the hair off the comb or your hair is shedding or whatever, to burn it or flush it because you don't want anyone to have access to your hair. So for me, that's kind of been like a superstition that's been in the back of my mind. Um, so it would be a little bit weird having someone else have access to your hair or wear your hair. I think hair is also um, very spiritual. To me, it is about identity, um, but also expression. You know, the reason why people get haircuts or go to salons is to have some form of expression about themselves. So I think it's just, yeah, it's it's also sacred, but it's also a way to be creative and express yourself. I don't eat meat, um, so for me it's like, I probably wouldn't use animal fur. Um, I don't know, that's kind of, it is a weird question because there are many instances where people actually do use human hair for things, you know, it's not as common as um, where we lived in a world, or live in a world where people like wear fur or do things like that. So it's kind of hard to compare those two things. So, yeah. Plus you're like killing one thing. Yeah, exactly. You know? You're like slaughtering <laughs> and skinning this uh, being, yeah. you know, that's not really happening to the human race. So. Um, I think hair is just like, I guess it depends on the, I guess it depends on the way the hair is presented, like, I mean, I would get grossed out, like, this is going a different way, but if, like, I saw my roommate's pubes around the sink, you know, <laughs> I think it has, like, a negative connotation sometimes, or, you know, just, like, hair, um, it's something that sheds, too. So I guess anything like dead skin or anything that's like coming off your body can sometimes be a little bit gross if that's the, the way you mean you know, mm. people are getting grossed out. I think it's just the feel too, it's just like the Yeah, feel so it's just like, it's hair, you know, it's an extension of you and it's just really weird. But being a hairstylist, it, you find hair in the weirdest places, so I'm kind of over that, like grossed out stage.
nervous. Honestly, I don't blame you. That's not reassuring to say. Well, you know what? He's going from having never had a haircut from anyone else apart from his mother to yeah. a completely inexperienced person doing his hair, so... So, yeah, we so. just want to like, kind of keep it straight. <laughs> do just I generally right start from above here or down here? Do I work up or...? What if I accidentally like cut his ear or something? Does that not happen? Just be careful, but no. I just mad. <laughs> Did it. I'm happy now. Oh my god! Oh my god. Excellent. Um, yeah, no mirror for now. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't want to look. <laughs> Is this one of those things where I have to like... Where I have to be having a mental breakdown in order to do this? Like, <laughs> I like hairy bags. It's just a fact. Plus, no one's gonna see it. Oh, that feels really nice. I love how, like, I'm pale. That feels so nice. Oh yeah. my god. That's just. Is that right it is. I'm sick of like putting hair products in my hair and doing whatever it takes to like make it look presentable. Yeah. You know, this is the first time that I've ever had hair, sh short hair too. And I've come to realize that there's much more to take care of and maintain than long hair. Mm. But that's why you guys, you men get paid more, right? To get more haircuts. <laughs> Am I taking longer than usual? No, you're good. Okay, I think I have made it as consistent. Oh, wait, be careful because I don't want to hurt you. No, it's very, it's very consistent. She's good. But I have like put hair all over you. <laughs> okay. Can I see? Yes, you may. <laughs> Mm, it really kind of suits me in a way. I'm surprised. Yeah, it does.
So how would you personally feel about your own hair hypothetically being used in a project like this, like an art project? I feel like it would be kind of cool yeah. just to see what people, how people react to it, how people react to like, I don't know, I feel like hair is like a very honest form of art in some respects. Yeah. So how people react to seeing it like, in print, in media and things I think would be really cool. And then at the same time, like, I guess like there's a whole entire idea. It's like your hair is like a very private part of you, even though it's on show, like, 95% of the time. Mm -hmm. Unless you live in, like, Canada or something, and then maybe it's more like 70%. But it's, um, so it's kind of like dealing with, like, the fact that you want, like, the privacy, and then at the same time, like, it's just interesting to see how people react to it. So. Yeah. Okay, so what is your relationship to your hair? My hair is, it's kind of like my best, it's my best friend and then also at the same time my worst enemy. Because mm -hmm. it takes so much like care and attention in the way that like you think like a relationship should have. And at the same time it's my worst enemy because of the fact like when it looks bad I like feel, I, I feel, I can feel it's like effect on me and things like that. And it like just becomes like a pain and sometimes I wish I I feel like I'd be better without it but then I know I'd miss it so much so so what hairstyle makes you feel most powerful probably just like braiding it in general like when I so I went through a period of having my like hair out and I like used to like stress pick at my hair when I was like younger so like 13 so in boarding school and I like developed like a little patch here where um because of that and because of the fact I thought it'd be a good idea it's a terrible idea to relax my hair when I was in New York with my um family in the summer mm -hmm. my hair was just like the dead part of my hair was just like falling out and I was just like well this is horrible because I had like a little patch here mm -hmm. and then like this like these straight parts here it was not a good time for my hair um so my first thought was like doing okay I need to do something that, like protects my hair and then I like started braiding it and as soon as I started braiding it everyone was just like why do you not braid your hair That's it's so nice it. it's yeah. so beautiful and I was just like ah, oh. oh yeah I do actually like this I don't know why I like turned away from doing it because I used to have my hair braided from like three until 12 and then I like rebelled by not having it braided which was just like a stupid thing to do why would you rebel from it? Is it, is it like a look that's like thought of as like childish or something? I think I thought my old, old braid style was childish because I'd like, I'm not someone who changes it a lot. Mm. Like this is the first time I've ever done this style. Mm. And I've, the one I did before I did for like five years, maybe four years, just because it like worked, it was easy. I knew how long it was going to take, blah, blah, blah. And like, so I'd probably say braiding my hair is like what makes it feel most powerful just because I don't have to worry about it and it's easy to like style and wear it with outfits and things like that and it's just like makes me feel comfortable mm. and then yeah it was just like it to me like represents like a massive change mm. in my life from like something which was like a lot more like juvenile and lost something which was like more like sophisticated and like put together I guess. Do you feel any pressures from society to have your hair styled in a certain way? Yeah I feel like you always want people's you always notice when someone's hair looks like unkempt or like unruly and I'm using quotation marks because I feel like that's just like yeah. that makes no sense at some yeah. points like there's a difference between having like a clod of dirt in your hair and like just, just having like unruly. like having it just like like afroed mm -hmm. and I think because of that it's always like better to have your hair look like neater more put together not just for like other people but also for yourself so you don't have to worry about it as much right. like I feel like if you're if you can just wake up and like shake your head and then like go about your day you're gonna have a lot more less stresses than if you have to wake up like two hours earlier than that to make sure it's like brushed and like well oiled and combed blah 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 which is what a lot of people with well not like whose hair is braided but a lot of people whose hair is like natural and out would have to do two hours in the morning 
it would take it would take me two hours just because I'm like again lazy. But like my young, for example, my younger sister, whenever she um gets her hair braided, she does this thing where she like puts conditioner in it and then like brushes it through. That takes her an hour. Wow. Just to do that part. That takes a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So I was watching the documentary that you gave that you recommended, Good yeah. Hair. Um, and they said it cost up to like thousands of dollars to get weaves, right? Oh yeah, weaves. I would. I've never had my like. I've never had a wig. I've never had a weave. But like I hear like sometimes my friends are like if you want to like get an extremely good um wig then you want to be paying like. I don't know. I feel like it's like four hundred dollars yeah. or something. It's like it's like a high number. Why is it so different in prices? Like, cause it seems like there's more to do with. I think probably me spitballing, I'm assuming with weaves, it'd probably just be demand. And like the fact that you want it, it takes a lot more, like, um, what's the word for it? It's a lot more, not intricate, but it's, um, you want it to look like someone's hair. Okay. You know, you don't want it to like be like, if you tug it, you don't want it to be falling out and things like that. So like, they're probably charging you for that. Mm. Everything in New York is expensive anyway. Oh, yeah, so like, that's true hair braiding automatically just becomes more expensive because sometimes the rents are higher yeah but then also because of the fact they have such a massive market of like people who want a hair braid yeah i sometimes think hair salons are just taking advantage of people oh which yeah which is why i'm always just like if you bargain you'll probably be paying closer to the real price oh. and also if you're i didn't know that you could even bargain you technically can't you can't 